Good morning. I'm Zach Walker. This is Zach's Variety Show. Happy Monday. We have got some Age of X. Sorry. Thanks, Bob. We've got some Age of Empires today. We're going to be playing some uh, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. It's going to make me a smile. Um, I really like Age of Empires. I used to play it a long time ago, back in 2003 and 4. Hey, there so. Hmm? That's great, buddy. Um, let's check these filters out. Um. Let's try this. All right. So anyway, uh, we've got that all set up. We are going to uh, jump on into it. And I think we're just going to walk on over to that uh, game board. All right. So let's go ahead and run a multiplayer game. We're going to browse games. Actually, let's... um. Let's run a multiplayer game. And we're going to... Let's run some rank. Treaty. Game sizes. We're going to record the game. We're going to go 3v3. Searching for players. We're going to run Treaty. Um, it's going to be interesting. So Ooh, it's taking a long time to get a game. Um, All right, maybe we'll uh, jump out of rank. We'll just play a browse games. Um, we'll do public games, all maps, all game types. And let's do US. Mm. 
west for now. Mm. I see. Oh, the game's full. I will try this one. For six v six. Fight against someone in a world war. It's like we're not going to get that one. So why don't we switch to U.S. East? Browse games, U.S. East. Um, try this one. Are you ready? I'm so ready for this. I... Here. I need food. Oh my god, stop. I need food. Mm. I need food. I need wood. Are you, Are ready? you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that trade. Hey, you sit you on the computer all day, play. You know nothing of hard life. Sit on the computer all day, really? play. You know Such nothing of hard life. Really? Such really? a noob. Really? Such a noob. Such a noob. Really? Such a noob. Ask Zing. not for whom the timer ticks. It ticks. Believe Ask it, not little for boy. whom the timer ticks. It Believe ticks it, little boy. Ask not for whom the timer I'm ticks. I'm in your base. It ticks Killing your doom. Zing! I'm in, I'm your, base. in your base. Killing your doom. Killing doom. your doom. I'm in your base. Killing your doom. Oh my gosh. This is, uh, this is how... It used to be. This guy's AFK, probably. What well, we're gonna get out of here? All right, let's find a different game.
Okay. Oof. I hear your words, buddy, and it's okay. West UK? Yes. Um, yeah, no. Alright, let's look at this. We've got... Are you ready? Yes. All right, we're going to play our own game. We're going to start one. Multiplayer. Host a casual game. Workers' game, supremacy, rules, treaty. 40-minute treaty. We're going to do U.S. West Coast. No password. Allow spectators. Five-minute delay.
cool. So we're all set. Nice, nice, yeah. <laughs> attack now, attack now. Check in your no. pocket. No the quarter no. is me too. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Where is my no. mother? Zing. This will give me cred. Straight no. cred. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it, little boy. Really? Attack now. Such a noob. LOL. I am ROTFL. You sit on the computer all day, play. You know nothing of hard life. <laughs> Check in your pocket. The quarter oh, oh. is me too. Are you ready? We almost had a game there. It was close. Are you ready? We got a game. All right. We've gone through the process and we've got a game. We have a 40 minute treaty. We can do this. I 
Alright, so we're going to build a wall right across the top here. I haven't found very much wood. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Yes. Ready for Caster. Commandment Hunter. Fire. Poster. Accompany our quest. Mm -hmm. Ready. You won't. Yes. Yes. Right, so we're going to build our houses right here, actually in the back. And then um, our boy here is going to go around. Let's do a very good little search here. Okay, so we've got our peeps rolling. We're going up to age two. To get to age two, we need to have 800 food, which is why we've got her running the food line here. And what we're really trying to do is get enough, um, we're going to select our beginner deck, to pop our 300 food. Because we already have 300 food, that'll give us uh, 600 food. So we'll be very close to what we need. Um, so that's what we're going to do right away. Yes. I'm actually probably going to pop someone else on hunting. Fire. Okay, and we're going to start right here, building our houses in the protected Reached. area. Reached. Ready. Reached. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. So we're rolling pretty quick here. That's a lot of errors when on. Screw with that. Two guys for a town person. Alright, we're gonna send our food. Alright, here we go. And look at all this nice wood over here. This will be perfect. Yes, Richt. Richt. Commandment Richt. Richt. Okay. So we've got those guys working. Yes, Forster. Okay, they're going to start foresting over here. We're going to move our other foresters down here. Okay. Yes, Forster. Okay, so you're gonna all start foresting. All right, we're gonna put this here. We're gonna need that. We've got our gold slightly ticking up. Okay, Forster there. So we've got our wood ticking up. There we go. And then we're going to kick up our foresting ability. Make that work a lot quicker. And then we're going to kick up our gold ability. Make that work a lot quicker. And our boy here is going to start hunting. To help us get our food limit to 800. So we can get to age 2. So we have 3 hunters. And we're about to hit our age limit, so we're going to jump up to age 2 at 800. As soon as we get there, we're going to take it over immediately. 
And then we're gonna go with um we're gonna go with the one that gives us more food. We don't have very good food right now. If we had berry bushes, we would definitely go for that, but we don't have berry bushes, so we are gonna just come on over here. I don't really want a healer, but I'll have to deal with this. Maybe we'll just get the experience. Um. Ready. Can we? You don't really have enough wood, so we'll just sit right here for a second. Um. Okay, we'll jump back to our group. Got everything rolling. There's nobody snoozing. Alright. Okay, I actually don't want to do that yet. I want to come up here, build a trading post. Okay. We've got this. Alright, so there's the bad guys. We've got this trading post building. We've got our wood, which is about to tick over. We're going to send more wood. Oh, actually, we're going to send manor houses. Um, then, now that we've sent manor houses, we're going to actually make cheaper manor houses. She's made one. Okay, so we've got our food ticking over. Um, I am debating getting a mill up as quick as possible. All right, why are you guys all over here? Get moving. Get chopping. We need choppers. All right. So you go pick up that food. Okay, so our next age is at 1,000 gold and 1,200 food. So what we're going to do, we've got... We're going to kick up our production. Okay, I'm going to remove my food production. We're going to go straight into... Um, I've removed food production. I'm going to get food crates. Because we're going to go right into it foresting. Okay, so we've got the forest rolling. I hear you, bub. Alright, so we've got one person gathering food. Which is at the town center, which is what we want. Then we're going to have gold, and then we're going to be rolling into this. So actually what we want now... Um... Very close. We need to get people onto. And here. And then here. And here. Alright, so we've got a lot of stuff going. We've got a lot of incoming from the town center. We've almost got the food we need, and then I'll be fine there. We'll get rolling on this. Take a couple foresters, move them up to gold production. Okay, we're going to put you on gold too. Okay, now we're going to jump in here. We're going to go wood and wood production. We're going to push that up. All right. Okay, so we've got these guys going.
Okay, so we've got extra, so now we're going to go an extra one, two, to get uh, some more people doing gold. Okay, get back on gold. Okay, so we've got the foresters going. We've got a little bit of extra here. We're going to pop the gold, and then we'll get ourselves an age. Okay, so we've got this rolling. Okay, so we've got this rolling here. Perfect. We've got that rolling. We've got these people rolling into placers. A little bit more wood, and we will... I don't really want to spend that food on that, but I guess I could, I could send her into gathering hunting. One of you is going to take the things from the home city. That'll start popping our gold up, and we'll be ready for a next stage. Ooh, good. Our, good, our friend's already at three, too. That's good. I think we've got this. We're doing okay. We got all this stuff rolling. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick here. This is talking about um, protect your soldiers, textile, your warrior. Um, okay, so nothing really important here. Got ourselves rolling. Where's our ready? Forster. Fire. Wrist. Ready. Forster. Okay, and then we've got. Pile. Oh, okay, no. Okay, so we're good. Fire. Wrist. Okay, so now we are ready for age three. We're going to go age three, and we're going to jump into a covered wagon to get the second town center. Then we're going to go ahead, and we're going to pop um, wood. Actually, we'll wait to age three. We'll use that card in age three. Yes, there. Okay, we got some focus staring going. Okay, so this is our final manor houses. We we'll have everybody doing what we need. 40 food. Crap. We're going to need a group of people running food. So we're going to go... group of people running food right here. Wrist. Ready. Ready. Wrist. Wrist. Ready. Wrist. Yes. Wrist. Commandment. Okay. So we're gonna have this. Oh geez, that guy's already at four. Alright, so we're gathering food now. Now we need to go three. We're gonna pump out some more people. We have seven choppers, we have nine gold people, and eleven food people. Yes. Take you off of food, put you on shopping. Ready. We're gonna put um our second town center will go right here. He was. Yes. All right, so we've got this rolling. 
Okay, to get to the next age, we need... Um, what do we need to get to the next age? We need uh, 2,000 food and 1,200 gold. Okay, so we're at 1,200 gold, so let's go ahead and put make these guys. Um, go ahead and make another mill. Yep. Okay, so we're going to do this. We've got this. Ten gatherers there. Okay, so now we've got two things. Um, we've got a covered wagon and a fort. So we're going to take our fort. Or we're we gonna take money. We're gonna take. No, we're gonna take the thousand food. Because what we need to grow up is two thousand food, and we already have the gold we need. So take a thousand food. We've got our choppers rolling. Twenty food productors. We need. Okay, we're gonna make a coin. So we've got this. So we're rolling out. We've got our choppers rolling. We've got our split our choppers across the two forests here. Um, we've got our gold coming. We need a little more wood, and then we'll be able to get more coin. <laughs> got some good economy. Okay. So we'll have 10 on the world. Got you rolling in here. Um, yeah, we got you are going to come be a uh, chopper here. There we go. Ready. Forster. Okay, we got seven, nine, ten. Okay, so we are going to jump into, I want more wood because I need it for all the projects I'm about to do. Okay, we're going to pop faster wood, faster gold. We've got faster things, faster gold here. This needs more wood. How's our choppers doing? We got nine out of ten choppers. We'll need you chopping. There we go. Okay, so we've got that rolling. We've got almost nine out of ten gold producers. Gold producers. All right, get back on this. So we're going to pull this wood in. Okay, we need age four. And now we're going to go ahead and pop to age. Okay, we need 2,000 food. We're almost there. So we're going to pop the age here in a second. Boom. All right. Um, settlers, chest of coin. We're going to go coin because we're low on that. And there we go. So now we are going to go to the fourth age in a second. And then we will be there. We've got our guys here. We've got our mills running there. We're going to be able to pop that up as soon as we get coin. Bang. All right, we're going to send coin. All right, we've got our choppers rolling. We've got our money rolling. We need more money. So let's go ahead and 
use our food people. Right there. We're gonna take one of our choppers here. We're gonna make one for that. We've got one. Okay, so we've got we're gonna send the people out there. We're doing good. We've got our Got nobody quiet. We're doing good here. So this is our main economy now. All right, so what we need to do is start preparing for war. All right, so we've made it to four. So what do we need to get to the fifth age? We need 4,000 food, 4,000 gold. So we've got that rolling. Um, we've got our people rolling here. They're going to come out of here into there. Um, how many are on this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we'll get that full. We've got gold rolling. Okay, we've got our everything we need there. We've got more food production. Um, we need 400 food, and then we've got more gold production rolling. So we should be there. All right. Doing good. All right, so it's time for us to... Grab one of these people. Grab um, one. Okay, we're going to do that. Then we're going to grab another person. I'm going to start building walls. Okay. Yes. Okay, where's our other one? We're gonna start building here. Alright. Plate some placers out here. Got everything rolling there. Everything rolling here. These are all cheap. We're gonna buy those really quick while we got a chance. Okay, our next age is 4,000 gold. We're almost there. We need another mill. We got 10 of 10 on there, 10 of 10 on there. We've got 10 of 10 on there, and we've got 10 of 10 on there. Yes. Yeah. 
So we got this rolling. Got our walls building. Okay. So we need to find somebody sleeping. Get him building this one. And then we find somebody sleeping. And she is going to chop right here. And we've got two choppers. Yeah, this chopper is actually going to build more walls between us. Ready. All right, so we've got wall building here. Come on, the men. We're going to build another wall. Another wall here. Through here. Our walls up. Four staff. Come on, the men. All right. All right. So we've got plenty of stuff here. We're going into the fifth age. We're gonna take um three rockets. Or chest of 2,000 coins. Take chest of 2,000 coin. We will go ahead and take a person here. Ready. And she's going to build a... Let's see. What do we need? We need artillery foundry. We need um, armory. And then we need the capital once we get to five. got um we need yes. someone who's not doing anything to build another wall
He's going crazy. Alright, so we've got two things. Alright, let's go ahead and throw both of our factories up. Okay. So now we've got our... We're going to get all of our things rolling. We're going to get advancements rolling. Let's see who's not doing anything. Okay, we're out of wood there. Let's get you over here shopping. Um, okay. And you're going to start shopping over here. We're going to build our first factory back here. And then my second rocket here. Okay, so we've got all that rolling. going we've got one person not doing anything you need to build your factory right here So we've got our food rolling, we've got our everything rolling, we've got that rolling, we've got that rolling, we're ready for that, we've got that already set and going, we've got that set and going, we're training up our musket men. Almost at treaty time. Our army is flying out here. I need another pop person who's not busy.
Okay, so we've got food going. Got money going. Need... Okay, you stay there. Alright. We've got our... Almost there. So we've almost got our rockets fully upgraded. Alright. Hey. So what do we need? We need... Right, heavy fortifications. We're gonna get our rockets upgraded. We're ready to roll. Good. We're gonna take these guys over and start chopping trees for a second. Okay, you stay there. Alright. What do we need wood for? Can't remember what it was I needed wood for. I think it was to upgrade my Musketeers to the next level. Got it. We're back. Okay. find somebody who's not doing anything and you are going to build a wall from here to here Yes. 
Amen also. Yes, Abonks. Red Lion. Come on, Wiss. Red Lion. Commander Wiss, Red Lion, Commander Mavons, Wiss, Commander Mavons, Commander Lion Mavons, Ready. Ready with bones. Red come on, whisk. Commandament Amen so ready Yes Amen so
Ready. Yes. Yes. Ready. Commandment. Lion! He wish! He wish! Come on, the man! Yes, the wall.
feel me yeah. stronger now. Forster. Heil. Forster. Heil. Forster. Mondament. Inenesso. I am sorry, Grieb. I may not steer her. Forster. Mondament. Yes. Forster. Ready. Forster. Yes. Forster. Commandment. Forster. Oh yeah. Here we go. Commandment. Imenos.
ready. Me wish. Yes, he won't. Men are so. Yes, ready. Yes, he won't. Me wish. On the bench. He won't. Right. Commandment. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at those walls. Those are good. Holy crap. Ooh. That was awesome. Oh. <laughs> what a game. My guys were awesome. <clears throat> Jeez Louise. Nicely done. We just charged. Holy crap, look at these walls. Wow. 
Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. In sanity. <laughs> wow. What a game. I want to view the post game. Ooh, he did so good. I did not. Oh gosh, see, even on my team... My economy was Wow. Wow. See, I was doing good, and then I stagnated for a while, and then I went, woo, and this is my army. <laughs> wow. That was insane. Oh, that's unit count. Um... Let's look at score. Ah, see, like, my crew was insanely above everybody. I stu stood right with the other lowest guys. And held my own to the end. That was a fun game. That was a good bit of experience. So good. All right. Let's go ahead and quit. What a game. What a game. Um, That is an Age of Empires 40-minute treaty game. Um, We have a half hour left. So let's go ahead and uh, jump, jump, jump. Into a quick game. Let's see if we can find a casual game. Actually, no, we're gonna... I don't know. It's hard. That was legit, but... I think we're gonna stop for a little bit, because Age of Empires takes a long time to play. 
and we just played one game and it took almost our whole stream. <laughs> um, that was so good. All right. Um, we're going to jump, uh, do a quick transition over to, um, to, um, flight sim. And we'll do some takeoffs and landings. All right. All right, we're almost transitioned into Microsoft Flight Sim. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and do a few little quick edits. There we go. And that should be that. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Got ourselves all set up. Not a bad morning so far. We won that game of Age of Empires. That was pretty fun. Looks like this is going to be very simple. Woohoo! Don't think it's going to take too long for the game to load in. Boom. Japan. Up 
update has landed. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Elevation data updates, huh? Nice. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves set up. We're gonna go from um, KC. And we're going to go from uh, medium gate to CLM. And then we're going to do low altitude airways. this route that looks like we're gonna ILS runway 8 we're gonna go uh, 27 oh the winds coming at 27 so I guess we gotta try our nav 26 no we're gonna do ILS 8 it'll be fine um all right so we're gonna do flight conditions live players off live weather live players is better for us um then we're gonna go check our make sure that we're all set up with our livery we're gonna f fuel should be fine failures are all right atc options are fine so let's go ahead and uh, just go ahead and do this. Let's get this going. Let's get it on. Yeah. All right. So that was a good game of age. It made me feel good. We like we did our treaty. We weren't the best. We weren't in the greatest shape, but um, our economy was fine. Ready to fly. All right. We are. Ooh, I am loving this. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and um, get this plane in the air. All right, so we're going to turn on our ground power, open the bus, turn on our gens, turn on our batteries. Looks like we're in good shape there. Let's go ahead and crank up our brightness. I guess it's saving our brightness adjustments because it's not dumb. All right, let's go ahead and turn on um, single icing. I really need much of that. We're gonna turn on our landing lights, our RACOG, our pulse, hit the panel, hit our floods, arm our emergency lights, wing inspection and anti-collision and tail flood on. Okay. We're gonna turn on our flight director. We're gonna set ourselves up for, um, I'm gonna say 5,000 feet. And we'll do like 10,000 feet because I don't think it's going to take us up that high, but that's what we'll put ourselves for our initial climb. We're going to put ourselves on a vertical of 2,500. And we're going to set ourselves to a manual speed of 185. One eight five knots. But maybe we'll do 190 knots just to be little safer all right so we've got our manual speed set up we're gonna do uh, heading select and we'll select that when we get on the runway 
Good, we're going to check our flight plan. Flight plan is set. Okay, speed bugs are on. Weather is engaged. Airport is Kilo, Charlie, Lima, Mike. And we're going to go ahead and hit the ILS runway 8. We're going to put that into active nav 1. We're going to put it into active nav 2. Home that. We are good with everything here. So let's move on down. Um, nothing there. We're going to start up our APU while we're here. Let's go ahead and put our engines into run mode. And we'll just crank those over. All right, we're going to do FMS navigation, GPS bearing 1, nav 1 bearing 2. Our speed bugs will be on. Our minimum is 200 feet. Our PDF wind to 3. And then I think we should have this all set up. And then we are going to go ahead and turn off our ground power. Uh, make sure our gens are on. We're all set. And... Okay. So now, um, while we're watching our engine spool up, we are going to go ahead and call for our clearances. Seattle clearance, uh, Penguin 2515 requesting IFR to Port Angeles as filed. Seattle clearance delivery, Penguin 2515 IFR to Kilo Charlie Lima, Mike ready to copy. Penguin 2515 is cleared to Kilo Charlie Lima, Mike airport as filed. Take off runway 16 center climb and maintain 6,000 feet. Departure 6,000 feet. So we'll move this to sixteen to six thousand feet. Then we'll acknowledge that. Penguin two five one five cleared to Kilo Charlie Lima Mike Airport as filed. Take off runway one six center climb and maintain six thousand feet. Departure on one two five decimal niner squawk seven zero one tree. Cool. Penguin two five one five readback is correct. Contact ground on L N E two one decimal seven when ready to taxi. Roger that. Ground on one two decimal seven. All right, so let's take our pushback. All right, let's call ground and get our taxi. Seattle ground, Penguin 2515 with India ready to taxi IFR. Penguin 2515 taxi to an halt short of runway 16 center via taxiway Bravo Charlie cross runway 16 left Charlie. <laughs> Contact tower on 119 or decimal 9 are ready. Uh, okay. Taxi to and hold short of runway 16 center via taxiway Bravo Charlie cross runway 16 left Charlie contact tower on 119 decimal 9 when ready Penguin 2515. Taxi to and hold short runway 16 center using taxiway Bravo Charlie cross runway 16 left Charlie Penguin 2515. Okay. Okay, our engines are on, so let's go ahead and disengage the starter. Okay, and we're ready to roll, so let's go ahead and roll on out of here. We're going to put our flaps to take off configuration.
Alright, here we go. I don't see any other players on live, so we should be okay for that. Going to transition into the tower controlled um, runway. Or tower controlled taxiway, sorry. Okay, so we've turned to tower. Fast taxiing. So we've got this taxi up, we're rolling in. All right, we're going to pick up the pace and finish off our taxi. Still haven't seen any planes. Thank you, Zach Walker bot. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are going to be doing a quick shuttle flight over to Port Angeles this morning. Um, please, I would like you to remain seated. Uh, this flight is a short flight. However, um, we will be going over the mountains, and there is a little bit of weather above them. So please stay strapped in for this flight. We're just about getting ready to take off, so please make sure your seat backs and trays are in the upright and locked position. And remember, thank you for flying Penguin Air, where we're the only flightless bird that flies. There wasn't any traffic, so we're going to cross our left and go to center. That's yeah, so a clear. We're going to request our takeoff clearance. Seattle Tower Penguin 2515 ready for IFR departure runway 16 center. Penguin 2515 cleared for takeoff runway 
Alright, here we go. We're gonna get ourselves out onto the runway. Alright. Let's go ahead and pop our brakes real quick here. We're gonna pull up into our heading, lock our heading. Well, heading is locked on our current heading, and we are ready to roll. So let's go ahead and just, um, here we go. Toga, toga. Spill those engines, and rolling. V1, V2 rotate, positive rate, gear up, flaps M1, airspeed locked, positive autopilot, There we go. Handle locked into cruise. Acknowledge handoff. Going to one two five decimal nine or penguin two five one five. Seattle departure, penguin two five one five with you at two thousand feet for six thousand feet. Seattle departure, penguin two five one five is at two thousand feet, climbing six thousand feet. Penguin two five one five, Seattle departure, continue to OTLIE as planned. All right, here we go. So we're going in. We're in our climb. All right, let's go ahead and lock into our nav. <laughs> Climbing up over the clouds. Look at that. Amazing. And we're about to level off at our indicated altitude. Everything's looking good there. Should start taking our turn here. <laughs> climb and maintain 7,100 feet. Climb and maintain 7,100 feet. Penguin 2515. Climb and maintain 7,000. All right, so here we go. We're taking our vertical. And we're rolling with it. As soon as we get to 7100, I believe that'll be our highest level. We can crank it on up. We can double check that on our flight computer, though. Let's check that flight plan. 
jump on in. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get much higher than this, so... Let's go ahead and um, pump our speed up a little. We're going to pump our speed up to... We are under 10,000 feet, so we're going to go... 2-4. You know, 240. So we're under 10,000. Shouldn't take us too very long. See, we're going to go right in pretty much. 7,100 is a little low, but I think it'll be okay for the things we're going over. Okay, I'm actually going to zoom in a bit. I want to see things going on. Alright, so let's bring ourselves up to 245. Nice and nice and easy. We don't want to actually break the speed limit, so we'll go up about three. And that should. Then we'll go up the last two, and that should bring us back down without going over the speed limit, so not bad. Alright, so we've got our autopilot cranked to where we need to be. Let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit here. I really like this area, this setup right here, so I can really see everything I'm doing. We're coming up to 250, so I'm going to pull my last set of flaps in, give us the most aerodynamic we can get. We can have flaps out to 250 in this bird, but I'll get it. I just want to have it as nice as we can, just to kind of bring us through. I love that we're in the middle of two cloud layers. It's real pretty. It's nice. I like it. Okay, so Shouldn't take us too long to reach our next point. Like three minutes to our next point. I might request an increase. So here's the deal. Um, we're going to get over 10,000. And the reason I'm doing that is so we can straight up get some speed. There we go. So we should be climbing right now. Um, actually, let's go ahead and... Right, here we go. There's our climb. Alright. One two eight decimal five for penguin two five one five. One two eight decimal five penguin two five one five. All right, so 
Here we go. Got a little wiggle. I can feel the wind. Got a little bit of a nose wind. Almost over 10,000, so that means we can actually shut off our landing lights because we'll be above 10,000. So we're in good shape. As soon as we actually cross 10,000, we can increase our speed. close enough. Alright, so let's go ahead and get ourselves up to 320, I think. Yeah, there we go. We're redlining, but not barber polling. So, that's good. 320 is fine. We'll go 325. Alright. CL Center, Penguin 2515 with you. 10,000 feet. So I mentioned that um, 7 was a little low for these hill mountains, and this is why I asked for 10,000, besides the speed increase. some rough air. Look at the Olympics. They look so good in between the quad layers. That's amazing. Doing some quick calculations here for our landing speed. Hmm. Yeah, see, uh, if I wouldn't have asked for 10, I wouldn't have been so happy going over these mountains at this level. We'd be approach one one decimal two for penguin two five one five. Going to one one eight decimal two penguin two five one five. 
All right. Oof, it's getting rough. Would be approached, Penguin 2515 with you at 10,000 feet. Would be approached, Penguin 2515, 9,900 feet. Penguin 2515 would be approached, continue to PA and GL as planned. Altimeter tree 0.11. Roger that. Penguin 2515, descend and maintain 4,700 feet. Sure. Yeah. All about that. And we're going to do that absolutely as slow as possible. So we're going to do 4,700 feet on a vertical speed of 500, 600 vertical feet per minute. Alright, because we're descending, we're going to turn our speed down to 250. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Penguin 2515, please expedite your descent to 4,700 feet. Landing here. Landing here. Landing right. Here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right, now we're descending. Landing here. 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 All right, we're going to throw our speed brake. Landing here. And we're going to pop out one thing of flaps. So now we're over the mountains. We're descending for 4,700. We don't need our landing gear. So dumb. Right, turn off our speed brake. We're still on our way down. We're crossing the airport. Alright, so we're closing off. We're almost there. We're doing a cross airport loop, so we're crossing the airport's entry. We're going to swing out over the water and then reset into the ILS.
Clear to YC. Knowledge approach. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect ILS runway eight approach by Yuxa transition. Clear to Yuxa Penguin two five one five. All right, so we're cleared to Yuxa. All right, so what we're gonna do? We've got some time. We're gonna kick our speed back up to two forty. Which should get us around this loop pretty fast. Oof. There we go. Let's take a look out over the water. See the airport over there. and maintain 3,600 feet penguin 2515 600. Of course. My glass is frozen. Awesome. Thousand six hundred, right? Okay. Two twenty eight, two eighteen, two five, one ninety. Flaps out to two degrees. Actually, we should leave flaps at one. Um, all right. Okay. Let 
that was um, interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're taking our turn in. Kilo Charlie Lima, Mike Traffic Penguin 25152, two miles northwest inbound ILS runway 8. All right, so we're coming across. I'm just going to go ahead and jump in and hit that nav one. Thank you, Zach Walker Bot. Coming into our final. Our glass isn't really working, but just hoping that we can peg the. Oh, it finally kicked back in. All right, let's slow ourselves down. Okay, we've got everything, gear out full. We're almost there. We've hit our approach to hit the glide slope. Our gear is out. We're a little far away for that, but We're already set. We've got ourselves on the ILS track. We're on the glide slope. It's 
go ahead and turn our ground spoilers on. We're coming in. All right. From this point on, it's all just gravy. Okay, we're gonna let it bring us in until we're just about. I don't know. What do you think? Just a couple miles out, and then we'll take over our um, airspeed. And once we've taken over our airspeed, we should be uh, pretty fine. Pretty good. I don't like how much pressure is on our nose right now. I feel like we're coming in with... Oh, no, we've got the wind behind us, but it's just pushing us a little hard. We're at full landing configuration. So we are pretty close. We're going to try and take over our speed. All right, come on. Taking over the speed. We got to get back up to 149. Bring it back down. All right, we're doing okay. Keeping it at about 149. So we're just about ready to remove autopilot. Uh, our speed's all right. We're losing a little speed, but I'm fine with that. We're actually probably a little light, so it's okay to be a bit slower. Five hundred. Five hundred. Here we go. All right, we're going to take over the glide slope. We're going to bring ourselves out of it slowly. Flare. Nose down. Nose down. Reversers. Ooh, that was a rough landing. Ooh. Rough landing. Pull our flaps in so we don't accidentally take off. That was a rough landing. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and announce clear from where?
And then we're going to move ourselves downfield. All right. Let's go park at the fuel box. Not bad, and that will be the end of our day. So, see, here's the thing. There's... Okay, all right, all right. Is there's a lot of traffic rolling around here, and I just I don't want to hit the um the plane that's right there. So I'm gonna roll around it. That plane just spawned in in the taxiway. I'm cool with that. We'll just roll around it. It's a weird flex to park right there in the taxiway, but we'll, you know, just have to deal with it. So we're going to park in the fuel box. account I love that it opens the fuel box for me like you're doing it right now right no parking brake on let's go ahead and um, kill our engines there we go one takeoff one landing and that's our day hey thanks for watching I know you have lots of choices thank you for spending your time with me um thanks to our good friend fan of the lakers who felt like being banned today welcome thanks for watching goodbye um we'll see you guys all tomorrow bye <laughs>